screening officers catch a cane sword before entering Omaha City Hall. And it's not the only odd item stopped at City Hall and the Douglas County Courthouse. New tonight, KAC News Watch 7's Alex McLuhan investigates on what other surprises have popped up. When screening officers seized a cane sword this month. If you've been here long enough, nothing really surprises you. It wasn't the first time Joe Pettivellano has seen one. A lot of those sword canes that come in are very ornate. I've had some with snakes, and you kind of get an idea when you see those that there's a good possibility to be a, a sword. We've seen a lot of different things come in here. Mace and bottle openers don't stand a chance getting past the people at the x-ray and metal detector. Yes. <laughs> You'd be surprised we get people bringing in butcher knives, because, uh, and it's not just for... Uh, uh, illegal purposes. It's just what they carry for whatever reasons. The next time you forget to take your spoon out of your pocket, the state's new concealed carry law allows you to return items back to your car, but officers are still required to intervene when there's a firearm involved. Screening officers are the first line of defense at the county courthouse and the city county building, but staffing those jobs was a challenge. Most of our entrance security officers, uh, they're, they're uh, uh, former uh, retired law enforcement officers somewhere in the, in, the, in the United States. I was working the day that the planes hit the tower. On 9-11, Joe was a trooper in Connecticut. I took um, one woman who lost her husband who was supposed to be transferred a week Prior, or a week after that happened, he was supposed to be transferred out of the towers. And it's something that I'll never forget, but I take away from it knowing that kind of helped the families out. Still ready for whatever and whoever comes their way. Well, a lot of people think we're just here to give you a hard time. Whether it's the Hall of Justice or uh, the city county building, uh, it's all government. If they're disgruntled in any way, upset, um, and if they're not in the right frame of mind and they have these weapons and they do get through, um, someone's going to get injured. Alex McLoon. We watch everything. KETV News Watch 7.